Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink and today I am sharing a slightly different project with you all. Uh, this is kind of a mixed media piece. Uh, this is made using the watercolor floral from P Prima Marketing. Uh, this came out a couple years back. Um, I happen to have some of the ephemera and flowers and a few of the 12 by 12 pages left in my stash. Not really enough to make a album like you guys are used to me making, but you know, something a little bit a little bit different. So this measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and the spine is two and three eighths of an inch. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I just layered a whole bunch of stuff together. <laughs> um, I like this kind of style, um, as it were. There's not a ton of space for photos, but it's really decorative and fun. So um, my covers, I actually covered chipboard with cloth that I had in my stash that I thought kind of went with the color scheme um, and then everything is kind of glued together. The front and back covers are actual du actually doubled um, so they're very 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 strong uh, and then the spine I made using uh, cardstock and some this is just like a pale pink faux velvet material that I had in my stash uh, and I did all the stitching with some purple thread just to give it a little bit more detail so it's pretty I mean it's somewhat simplistic um, but obviously a step up from what what I usually do for covers um, so the cover is the cover just like you see here on the back cover uh, and then I did a separate piece of cardstock um, that I layered with a few different colors. Uh, I stitched together and glued onto the fabric cover and then I just layered a whole bunch of the different elements from the collection. So I have a whole bunch of different ephemera pieces. So there's lots of flowers and leaves and, and whatnot. Um, and then I also have some of the actual flowers from the collection, uh, as well as some of the enamel uh, dots kind of just spaced out. Um, I did do a little bit of inking um, with some of the waxes uh, to add a little bit more detail and I did add a little bit of um, heavy gesso uh, to some of the flowers to make them pop a little bit more as well. So on the inside uh, each one of the pages, uh, the pages from the papers from this collection were really great for mixed media anyway. Uh, and then I further went on and added additional um, layers of mixed media, so in various colors. So there's a little bit you know, here and there, and then I used more of the ephemera pieces and flowers throughout. Um, these I just printed myself on, I created on Canva and printed myself and then, you know, cut up and glued on. Uh, we do have some of the puffy stickers as well from the collection, so I just had a lot of little bits left over, um, so I tried to use those up. So you have, you do have some spaces. Uh, this is actually the file folder die from Graphic 45. And so this is just a space where you can, you know, add additional things. Um, I do have some of the 3x4 journaling cards that were part of the collection. Um, I have a few of those throughout here as well. Um, and then you'll see I do have tags that I created. This tag um, is a die set from Dress My Craft. I think it was stitched 
tag number three. Um, I will do my best to link as much of this stuff as I can for you, uh, but I just had lots of kind of scraps left, so you'll notice that I use them kind of throughout uh, the album to just give a little bit more detail. So <laughs> you have more ephemera pieces and flowers. This was another puffy sticker. Um, and then you have, you know, space there. And then this flips down as well. So you have some space there. Um, and this one just says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Uh, and these were actually little, they're little stamps, but they were one of the three by four journaling cards. I just cut a bunch of them up um, to use throughout as well. And as you can see, there is more um, mixed media on here as well. So we have some embossing and some, um, this is a paste with, you know, some paint. So a little bit of everything. Uh, and all of the pages are stitched. So, and then this one says, Be You Bravely, and we just have a bunch more of the ephemera pieces, lots of flowers, uh, some more of the, the gems, and some more of the tags that I just created. And this, you have that space, and then you have this. Uh, and this was a Tim Holtz stamp. I want to say it's like Distressed a Mask, I think. I've had it, this stamp set for a really long time, so I'm not really sure. Uh, and then leave a little sparkle wherever you go. True beauty. And these are all stitched as well. So then you have more space there more space there uh, and then these pieces here they're just pieces that I had um, in my stash they were small but uh, I like keeping well you've heard me say it before I'm sure but I like kind of keeping everything because you never know when you can use it um, and when I'm doing pieces for mixed media which I know I haven't really shared anything with you guys because I'm a little nervous about my mixed media stuff but anyway uh, I'm sharing it now so I just like incorporating um, various pieces to give, you know, a little bit more background and detail to my pages. Uh, and you can see these ones have more um, of, you know, there's some gold embossed here and some more paste. Uh, and I, I colored this with um, Distress Oxide ink. I just splat it down and then mixed it in. Uh, so this one says have an open heart um, and this is actually one of the chipboard stickers some more ephemera pieces and flowers uh, this was an ephemera piece um, you, you have what it takes we've got some more of the gems so this just opens and opens and then this page is a little different. It says, believe in yourself, do what makes your soul shine. We have more ephemera pieces. There's another one of the tags that I had cut out. Uh, I did ink all of my edges with some Dusty Concord Distress Ink. Um, so I don't know, you can sort of see it. And then this is another ephemera piece. And then this actually flips up. So it's a little different. Um, than the rest of the pages and this flips open uh, a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle and this is open so you can tuck under there this has you can see more of the mixed media work that I did so I did some inking using the Prima cobblestone stencil uh, this was done in shaded lilac ink uh, dis distress oxide ink and then this is actually that same um, damask stamp, distressed damask stamp from Tim Holtz. I just stamped it. You can see a little bit here as well uh, in Versamark ink. And then I heat embossed it with some Hero Arts um, gold embossing powder. Um, you got a little bit more, you know, paint. I think this is some Opal Magic um, blue pink. Pink blue, pink blue, I think. Um, paint from Prima, and then this one says, 
patient, gentle, balanced, and kind. So this one says, keep room in your heart for the unimaginable. And then we just have more, you know, ephemera pieces. We have another one of the flowers, uh, one of the really tiny tags that I created from scrap. So see, you never know. Like That's a tiny little tiny little tag but it adds you know detail to the page um, and then another one of those little cute stamps that I cut apart from the 3x4 journaling card uh, we have another gem another few gems uh, and then this is like a bigger stamp this was part of the ephemera pieces so this opens and opens uh, and then here we have another one of the Graphic 45 folder die pieces. I just glued the sides uh, and I actually sewed these into the spine. Um, and then this one says, I feel so lucky. Uh, you make me smile even when I'm not with you. Uh, and then this one has all this space as well and we have you know another tag some more ephemera pieces this is another another couple pieces of scrap cardstock or pattern paper that I had so that is the album um, let me know what you guys think I'm kind of curious like I said I'm a little nervous to share some of my mixed media stuff with you but I was looking to do something a little different for you all. I know I've been doing lots and lots of albums and some cards, and I know you all love the albums, but sometimes I want to work on something a little different, and I thought it would be nice if I could share some of that with you. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's walkthrough, and let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And as always, if you are interested in seeing more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.